If you have a small business and you need a website or a digital catalog like this one so you can promote your products or services, this tutorial is for you. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to create these websites in Canva and I'm also going to show you how to create buttons so you can receive payments via PayPal and also I'm going to show you how to create a WhatsApp button in case that you want to take your potential clients to a WhatsApp chat and finalize the purchasing process over there. This websites can be created with a Canva free account or a Canva Pro account and at the end of this video I will show you the difference between these two. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial let's go to my computer. Here I am in canva.com and the first step it will be to search for website on this search bar. So let's type website and we're going to select this option that we see right here. And before I continue with the tutorial, I want to mention something very important and it is that Canva is currently working a lot on websites. So if at any point I show you something that you don't see on your Canva account, please go back to our channel and see if there are any new tutorials on websites because if there is a big website update we will make sure to create a new tutorial by then. Okay coming back to the search results we are going to select a template that you like or that it's aligned to your brand or your product and then we are going to start with the designing process. In this case I don't see the specific template that I have in mind so I'm going to select any of the templates and then in the editor I'm going to search for the template that I want to use for this tutorial. So I'm going to select this template right here. Here we are in the Canva editor and you can start customizing your template right now or if you didn't like your template very much you can also find more templates under the templates tab and you have a bunch of different categories in here. I already have the template that I want to use under recently used and here is the name you can try to find it by typing this title over here, black and white photographic accounting service website. So I will click on my template and then apply all pages. And automatically I have this template on my Canva design. Now let's collapse this window right here and let's start customizing our website. So I want to create a yoga website. If you guys know, I really love yoga. So <laughs> that's why the topic. But of course, you can use your own business products or services on the website. Let's go to photos. For this tutorial, I'll be using photos available in the Canva library. But if you are creating this website to sell your own products, I do recommend that you upload the photos of your products. Okay, so because this is about yoga, let's add a photo on this first page. So I have the photo and I just drag it to the background and I have the photo automatically in the background of this page. Let's see what else do I need to change in here. I'm gonna delete in the end this page number two so i'm not going to change the photo in there for our services i guess i'm gonna add a photo of a yoga class okay so i think this one is going to work fine now on this page i am going to add images to promote a service which will be a yoga class and then to other images that will be products. So a yoga mat and yoga blocks. So for the first image, I want to add something related to a yoga class, maybe a computer, and I have the right photo here on the Canva library. You see this girl with a computer right in front of her. So I think this is going to work perfect. So we can change here. Let's say online yoga classes and then Let's try to find a yoga mat. Okay, yoga mat. And then a yoga block or yoga blocks. Okay. I think 
this is going to work fine. So yoga mat, yoga blocks. Let's go to the next page. I think this one I won't be using, so I can delete it right now. And on the final page, I also want to change this photo. And let's try to find something like yoga phone to see if I find something related to yoga, but also somebody using a phone. And I actually found the right photo over here. I think this is going to work because this is going to be the contact us page. I'm gonna add the WhatsApp button and also a button so people can send us an email directly from this website. So. I guess I'm gonna ungroup these text boxes and leave just two of them like this. Now let's go back to page number two. And here I have this button that I'm going to use on the last page. So you can either control C or just drag this button until the last page. So here I have the button and then you can just control C, control V and create another button in here. Okay, so I already have the layout of my website ready. I will change the text, but I want to show you how to change the colors really quick. Okay, so page number two, I won't use it, so delete page. Now let's change the colors. So I'm gonna select this black color on the background of page number four, I believe. Then select background color and add a new color. This is in case that you don't have a color palette ready. So I'm gonna use the color picker and use the colors on one of these images. So I know that I want a beige or a soft color, so I'm gonna try to find something that I like in this photo. I'm gonna select the color, and as you see, the background on this page changed from black to beige. And at the bottom of the screen, we will see this button that says change all so basically we are changing all the black colors to this beige that's what i want so i'm gonna select change all and if we go up we see that these boxes are now beige and this background color is also beige i'm also going to change some other colors in here like for example, these buttons, I don't want them to be gray, so I go again to color. And this time I'm going to select this beige, go again to add a new color, and I'm gonna play around with this setting right here to find a darker color. So what I'm doing is moving this slider and at the same time I'm looking at the button and see which color looks good. So I think this is perfect. And then I'm going to click again on change all so all the grays become this color. Change all and we are almost there. So now I'm going to change the color of some of the text boxes. So let me do this one quick. And also I'm going to add some buttons below my services or products on this page. So I'll just do the same process. I'm duplicating these buttons by selecting the button, pressing Alt or Option on Mac, and then dragging the button where I needed to go. So this is the fast way to duplicate elements. And now I have three new buttons below my products or services. I'm gonna continue customizing the colors on this page. So let me grab this text box, change the colors. Now I'm going to select these two text boxes, use copy style and select these other two text boxes. I'm gonna change these text boxes from gray to white. And lastly, I'm gonna change this color to white 
and this icon for something more yoga related so let's go to elements search for lotus and i guess this icon is going to work better with a yoga website so let's delete the cube that we had on that previous template okay so now that i have the layout of my website ready and the colors i'm gonna change the copy and i'm gonna show you how to make the buttons work i already changed the copy on my website and i want to show you how this website is looking right now and if at any point while designing this website you want to preview it and see how it looks you can click on the preview button on the navigation bar on top so i'm gonna do it to show you how this website is going to look so here i have the website this is how this is going to look on a desktop and the cool thing about these websites is that they are responsive so on the top of the screen you will see these three options at the moment we are watching our website from a desktop view but we can also see it from tablet and from mobile so let's see how this is going to look from a tablet and as you can see the elements are aligned in a different position because the dimensions are different now lastly let's see how the website is looking on a mobile phone so everything looks perfect and now let's go to the part that i know many of you have been waiting for how to add buttons so people can pay you via paypal So we're going to use those PayPal buttons in here. So let me go to PayPal. Here I am on PayPal. So basically while I was doing some research before filming this tutorial, I found this option on PayPal. I knew this one existed, but I found the specific page where you can create your PayPal link. This is PayPal slash PayPalMe. <laughs> okay so you can go to paypal.com slash paypalme slash so i saw that anyone can use this link and you can use it for yourself if you want friends or family to pay you something or you can also use it for your freelance activity or your business so that's why i'm recommending this option today also here the page is showing us how this one works you basically use your link and people will go to a page that looks like this in which they can pay you the link is going to look something like this paypal.me slash and then your customized link in this option i guess i'm gonna use this one as a dummy for the website and then people can pay you i also found this other article that i guess if you really want to try this paypal option you can follow it they give you all these steps to create your paypal link so here you have the information and once you have your paypal link let's go back to canva select our button go to the toolbar and select link and in here you're going to add the link that you just created on paypal so it is that simple once you have inserted your link in here just hit enter and then do the same process for the other buttons and there you go you have created the buttons that are going to take people to paypal now let's create the whatsapp button and the email button for whatsapp we have to create again a customized link so here i have the formula you basically want to take this prefix link then you will add the international format of your mobile phone and then you're going to add your phone. This is the link that you want to insert on your WhatsApp button if you want people to text you or send you a message directly from your website. 
So let's go back to our website, select our WhatsApp button, go to link and then paste here your WhatsApp link. Now, how to create a button so people can email you directly from your website. You're going to take your email, going to copy your email and then select the button that says email. Go to link, paste your email and hit enter. Now, let's see what happens with these buttons if people click on them. Go to preview. Let's go to the products or services page. In here, because I used the dummy link that it was available on the PayPal landing page, we are not going to see what people really is going to see if you create the real link. But I do want to show you that these buttons work. So when I click here, it is taking me to PayPal. And of course it says we cannot find this profile, make sure that the link is right and the profile hasn't been turned off. This is because it is a dummy link, but if you create your PayPal link, this is going to direct people to a payment getaway. Okay, let's go down to the let's chat page and I'm going to click on the WhatsApp button and this is taking me directly to WhatsApp. If people want to send you a message, they just need to click on continue to chat and they will send you a WhatsApp message. If they want to send you an email, when they click in here, this window will pop up and they can send you an email by just clicking on that button. Now I want to show you a trick that I really, really like and it is related to the WhatsApp button. Let's say that you don't want to create a PayPal link and you want to take people to WhatsApp to finalize the buying and selling process. We can create specific links for each of these products or services so when people go to WhatsApp they send you a message and you know already what do they want to talk about or what do they want to buy. So let's create a link for each of these options. What we're going to do is to use our WhatsApp link, the one that I told you to create a couple of minutes ago. So we copy it. Let's go to the button, go to link, paste the WhatsApp link. And now I'm going to teach you a little formula so you can add these pre-filled messages. So this is the formula. This is the link that I told you to create already. And then we are going to add this little formula. So question mark, text and the equal symbol. So I'm going to take this formula and then we're going to type the message afterwards. So let's go back to our Canva design. We have our WhatsApp link. We're going to add the formula question mark text equal sign and then we're going to type the message. So this one is related to yoga classes. Let me just copy this link before and then I'm gonna type uh, can you give me more information on the yoga classes and then hit enter. Let's do the same for the yoga mat. Let's paste here our WhatsApp link with the code and um, can you give me more info? on the yoga mat and then the same for the yoga blocks so can you give me more info on the yoga blocks or maybe you can add a message saying something like how can i pay you for these yoga blocks or you know okay let's go to preview let's go to our products or services page and click on any of them. So let's click on the yoga classes. This is taking me to the WhatsApp page and then we have the pre-filled message in here. It says, can you give me more information on the yoga classes? So when they click on continue to chat, you will get this message and you will already know what 
they are interested in so this is a pretty interesting trick if you want to take your potential clients to whatsapp okay we have the website ready buttons links everything seems to be working fine and i know that you may have a lot of questions right now how do i publish this website do i need a domain do i need a hosting what happens now how do i share this website i'm gonna show you everything now okay so before going to the publish as a website step I do recommend that you change the name of your Canva document so you can do it on the navigation bar on top just rename it so I think I call this one yoga at home and now let's use the button that we see on the navigation bar on top that says publish as website now I have this window appearing on the right hand side and we have a couple of options. From here we have the option to resize or not the website on smaller devices. I do suggest that you just leave it on. If you don't leave it on then the website might look weird on a mobile device so leave it on do not change it below canva is giving us three different options to publish our website first we have free domain published to a canva domain this one is available for canva free and canva pro users i will show you later how it looks the second option is for those of you who want to buy a domain and you can buy it directly via canva the last option is in case that you already have a domain and you want to connect this website to your already existing domain i'm gonna select the first option that says free domain and i'm gonna click on continue to see what happens pay attention here i already created this canva site previously and i was able to change this first part on the domain so that's why it says diana munoz but you can change it for your own url right so you can change this part and you will have this part of the domain as you see it right here so that my that canva that site now because i already have this domain canva is giving me the option to change this part of the domain so basically just the part after the slash i cannot change the first part of my canvas site from here you can also change the favicon this is the little icon that you will see on the tabs open on your browser and you can also add a site description and something important here is that the name of your canva document your website document it's going to appear on the tab when people open your website on their browsers so if you remember i called my document yoga at home and that's why i see this text in here if you want to change this title you can do it from here you can change the yoga at home for something else and the favicon you can change it by clicking in here lastly you have a couple of permissions in here you can enable a password protection in case that the website has some delicate information and you just want to share it with specific people you can do it in here and also you can select the hide my site from search engines this one i will leave it as it is if you want people to find you let's say via google if somebody types on google yoga at home you may appear on the search results if you don't want your website to appear at all on the search engines select hide my site from search engines once you have everything ready you can click on publish now let me go back because i want to show you quickly the other two options then we have purchase a new domain let's go to continue and in here let's say that i want to buy yoga at home that com or any other extension here we have the different options so you got home that info is available and these other options right here and we can purchase this domain directly from canva let's go back 
These two options are available for Canva free users. Now let's talk about the last option. Let's say that you already have a domain and you want to connect that domain to this Canva site. So let's go for this option. This one is a Canva Pro option. So let's select it and then hit continue. In here, Canva is telling us if you have bought a domain from another company, you can connect it to your Canva website here. Click on this link and Canva will give you all the information and all the steps so you can connect your domain to Canva. After you have done this, you can connect up to five domains if you have bought them from another company and then you will type your domain in here and hit continue. Canva is giving us another message in here and they say we'll verify your domain is properly connected before your site is published. This can take up to 70 <laughs> this can take up to 72 hours. So yeah, this is an interesting option if you have Canva Pro. Now let's go back because I actually want to go for the first option that says free domain publish to a Canva domain. And here I want to make a recommendation because if you guys want to have more details about these publishing options, I do recommend that you guys watch this video that I'm going to leave you up here in which Ronnie explains everything but everything about Canva sites. Okay so let's continue. I'm gonna use the free domain continue because I already have a Canva site. It appears in here and then I'm gonna create the slash yoga at home. That's okay. I'm not gonna add a description and these ones I'm gonna leave them like that and then publish. Okay, Canva is preparing my website <laughs> and my website is live. I can simply copy the URL from here or I can click on this button to view my website. So let's click on it. And this is the final outcome. This is the live website. Here we have the URL, which is dianamunos.my.canva.site slash yoga at home. And let me just go down to show you how it looks. Then I'm just going to quickly show you that the buttons work. So if you remember the yoga classes, it should take me to a WhatsApp page with a pre-filled message, which is working. These other two options have the PayPal link, which is broken, <laughs> but if you are going to use this option, it should take you to the payment getaway. Now I have this other WhatsApp button. And lastly, the option to send an email. So here you have. So yeah, this is it. This is a free website made in Canva without having to pay for a domain or a hosting. This was a long tutorial, so I would like to know who stayed until this part of the video. So if you are still here, just drop this emoji in the comments. And I also want to remind you guys that Canva sites are still in beta mode. So if you see another button that it wasn't on the tutorial, or if you cannot find an option that I showed you, I do recommend that you go back to our channel and see if we have an updated tutorial on Canva sites. Meanwhile, if you want to learn more about Canva sites, we do have another tutorials that I'm going to leave in this playlist. And if you guys want to enjoy a Canva Pro free trial for 45 days, I'm going to leave you guys my affiliate link in here. And I guess that's it. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to share it with your friends and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!